Guys, Christian, I just wanted to uh, fix the error that we had earlier about node mon. Remember that in the uh, session we had um, an issue with the node monitor. So let me go to the app 2 first. And a quick way is to go in here, right click, and open in the integrated terminal. Make sure I'm in there. And we installed um, npm install dash g for global node mon. Even though the package is installed, properly right after that and we try to access it by typing node mon and you get this error right it's not a recognized command uh, so if you get this then what you need to do is you have to add this package yourself and if you don't know what this is installed you can type in this function uh, command um, config get prefix okay what that will tell you is where npm is installed. And usually when we install packages like Nomon, it will install into the same directory here. Okay, so if you see that, you just basically copy this link here. And then we're going to go and search for env and select the edit system environment variables here. Open that. Go to the environment variables and add it to the path here. Okay, so click the path. You can double click on it. Go or highlight and click edit, it doesn't matter. And you can see I don't have it here. So just go ahead and create a new one and just paste it right in here. So now it points to this NPM directory. And just click OK, OK, all the way out, and then you should be good. So after that, you can clear your console and then try again. So no mon, and then if it still doesn't recognize that, just you know close it again and reopen one more time. So we run Visual Studio Code, so it refreshes in memory. So now, uh, let me go back to the same place and type in known mon. Okay, you see that it runs the app that we tested earlier. As you can see, um, now if I go and click on this link, it opens the browser and runs the file. Okay, and if I go back to, you know, um, whatever it is, I don't have anything set up here, but you can see that it's running now. And the advantage of this is, let me go in and minimize my screen is that when I change code, I will leave this running, okay? This is still running in the in the terminal. I'm gonna just gonna um, uh, close the terminal. I did not delete it, just close it. So now if I change something in my code here, um, which I don't have to file here, but um, if I go and change this back to just um, send hi, okay? And I go back to the browser and refresh. You see that it works right Right away, I did not have to go back to my terminal and you know cancel and rerun again. So that's what Nomon is for. It just monitor changes in your code so that when you save your code, it refreshes, it reloads automatically for you, so you don't have to manually go in here and do it all the time. Okay. So um, if this still doesn't work, um, then I guess the last thing you can do is you can go and then you know uh, close it again. And then go and find your Visual Studio Code program and run as administrator. Okay, so right click on it, run as administrator. Okay, and then just do the installation process all over again, like we just did, and see if that helps. All right, so if you have, um, you still have issues, if it still doesn't work, and if you want to use it, um, you know, let me know and I'm happy to help. Okay, thanks.